Hey y'all, Snarky J Cosplay here with my review of the new Baz Luhrmann film, Elvis. Now, I was fortunate enough to have been invited to a premiere screening of the film, and I have to say, watching it was an absolute treat. Now, because this is a biopic, a lot of folks probably already know a bit about Elvis' story. I know for a fact that a lot of more casual Elvis fans are not going to know every aspect of this film. Therefore, I will keep this review completely spoiler-free for those that want to stay surprised. This film tells the story of Elvis Presley and his rise to fame during the 50s and 60s, and it also puts a spotlight on the complicated relationship between Elvis and his manager, Colonel Tom Parker. As far as performances go, the star power in this film is absolutely phenomenal. Austin Butler, known to me for his roles on the Disney Channel, is such a perfect Elvis that at times it was unsettling. There are certain moments where he smiles at the camera or speaks a line in a certain way that really feels like you're watching the Elvis Presley on screen. Baz Luhrmann actually had Austin take months worth of vocal coaching in order to best portray Elvis Presley and his iconic voice. In fact, most of the singing Elvis does as a young man in the film is done by Austin Butler himself. His commitment to doing the king of rock and roll justice is not only admirable, but completely successful. He plays off the legendary Tom Hanks, who takes on the role of his manager, Colonel Tom Parker. Though in the film, Tom Hanks is wearing prosthetics and a fat suit that make him borderline unrecognizable, these prosthetics don't hinder his performance in the least. He's completely unrecognizable and perfectly unsettling. As far as visuals go, this is your typical Baz Luhrmann film. There are lots of exaggerated graphic elements that actually change in style as the years in the movie progress. These graphics are often fast-paced and do a great job of pushing the story forward in a way that is a treat for the eyes. Though, for folks that aren't entirely familiar with Baz Luhrmann's work, these may feel a little out of place. As to be expected in a biopic about Elvis Presley, the music in this film is phenomenal. Austin Butler's vocal coaching and Baz Luhrmann's brilliant idea to combine Butler's voice and Elvis's voice to make something natural really paid off, as the hits heard in the film are new but true iteration of Elvis's most famous tracks. Typical of Luhrmann's films, though, there are some really odd reimagining of famous Elvis tracks, including one from Doja Cat, which sort of took me out of the film. I actually at one point wondered if I was hearing music from a different theater. Aside from that, though, the film is an auditory experience. I especially enjoyed some of the orchestral reimaginings of Elvis's softer pieces, which can be heard in some of the sadder parts of the film. These pieces are effective, very well made, and really touching. As far as the plot goes, Elvis's life, though tragically short, included a lot of different things that are definitely worth including in the film, which is why it has a runtime of 2 hours and 40 minutes. I can't say the film feels short, you definitely do feel its runtime, but it never feels excessively long, and for me, there's no point at which I felt it dragged or anything that I would cut out from the film to make it more concise. Lerman's film does a really effective job of shining a light on some of the more complicated aspects of Elvis Presley's life that more casual fans may not know about. One thing I really love about this movie is how respectfully it handles Elvis Presley's life. Though the circumstances of his death are often made out to be a joke, Austin Butler's performance is never made to be a caricature of the king, and the film never never feels like it's poking fun at him. However, I will say that some of the more unsavory aspects of Elvis Presley as an individual, as a businessman, and some of the more unsavory moves during his career are never explored, which makes the film more of a tribute to Elvis rather than a true telling of his life story. That being said, as an Elvis fan, this is an absolutely beautiful film to watch. Baz Luhrmann's Elvis is an incredibly moving, well-executed, love letter to the king of rock and roll, which makes this a must watch, both for fans of Elvis music and moviegoers alike. Again, my rating of this film is an 8.5 out of 10. It's visually striking, at times funny, completely entertaining, and does a brilliant job of both paying tribute and telling the story of one of America's greatest musical icons. Baz Luhrmann's Elvis hits theaters June 24th, 2022. That's all from me. I've been Snarky J. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know your thoughts on the upcoming Baz Luhrmann film Elvis in the comments below.